Hi, Chef K here. Well, we've done our bread from Divine Cuisine, and you know what? There's one thing we haven't talked about. What do we put on the bread? They're called spreads. And the most popular spread around the world is a spread called butter. So today, we're going to teach you how to make butter. Butter, we're using heavy whipping cream. Heavy cream, whipping cream, 35%, 35 to 40% cream. The same kind of cream you would do for making whipped cream. That's what you want. And we're going to do two liters or two quarts. Start it in your stand mixer. Raise it up. Start it slowly at first until it begins to set up, form up. Once it begins that, we'll increase our speed to high. And that's going to take about three minutes of whipping. Halfway through, we'll stop the mixer and scrape the sides down and continue to mix it. So you see our cream is all setting up. Starting to look really good. At this point, you'll probably stop it if you wanted whipped cream and flavor it with a little bit of vanilla and uh, confectioner sugar, but we don't want whipped cream, so we're going to keep going. We're going to start forming curdles here very soon. And it will begin to break apart so that we have our curds and our whey. Think about Little Miss Muffet. The whey is uh, actually called buttermilk. And you can use that buttermilk in other things. Use it in cooking, uh, making baking bread, marinating chicken is really great in buttermilk, uh, tenderizing beef is good with buttermilk, so don't throw the buttermilk away. Keep it, use it for other things. And now we're forming a total separation. You can see the curves are separating from the milk, the buttermilk. Still not quite done, but another minute. And there you go. Our butter is done. Separated from the buttermilk. Look at all that. One thing about color. You'll have different colors on how fresh the cream is. So now what we're going to do is we're going to take this. We're going to strain the butter out. Remember, we said keep that buttermilk. So we'll do that. And we're almost done. We're just going to do one more thing. We're going to wash that butter and knead it a little bit in cold water. And that will just extract any more of that flavoring out. So... With gloved hands or very clean hands, take your butter, put it in here. And just very cold water. Just give it a few kneads. A little bit. Brings it all together. Take it out. Give it a good squeeze. And you know what? Your butter is done. Now at this point, if you wanted to flavor this butter, you would add your salt or any kind of other flavoring you want. But look at that. I just shape it and we'll put it in plastic wrap, roll it in a log and refrigerate it and keep it and use it as we need it. And you're gonna take your butter Put it in a plastic wrap. Smooth it out. And you're set. There you go. One pound of butter. All set. Ready for you to enjoy. So that's how butter is made. The most popular spread around the world. But guess what? There's something even more popular than that. When we spread something, 
we spread the word of God. Why? Because there's one thing that everyone needs. It's the Christmas season, so we talk about Jesus. But he's more than the reason for the season. We have all heard that. His name should be used around the world every day for every situation. It says in Philippians that at the name of Jesus, everything in the heavens, on earth, and under the earth bow. What's your problem? It has to bow. It has a name. Cancer has a name. Poverty has a name. Uh, any kind of disease you can think of, COVID has a name. And at that name of Jesus, it must bow, meaning you have the power over it. So what's the greatest gift you can give? You can spread the name of Jesus. Someone comes to you with a problem, call out Jesus. When you're facing a problem, call Jesus. There's no name greater. There's no name that will get you the results you require. Jesus is the answer. We've heard that all the time. Jesus is the answer. You know what? When you face a situation, just stop. Just stop. Lift it up. Lift it up and start calling Jesus. 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 And soon you'll find he answers. His name is more powerful than anything. In my own life, it was Jesus who brought me through the hardest times. It was Jesus that healed my daughter when the doctor said she would die. It was Jesus who gave us the, the way out of darkness of poverty. It was Jesus who forgave me. That was the most important thing. No matter how bad you think you are, Jesus has love that will cover that. So for the Christmas season, your greatest gift is the name of Jesus. So this is Chef K. Until next year, we wish you the very best for this Christmas season and for the new year coming. And remember, God is on your side.